So, hello guys. Uh, this video uh, will be not the most detailed, but this is the new uh, BYD U9. Uh, I think it's maybe also called the Wang. I'm not really too sure. Uh, horsepower is going to be at least 1300 horsepower uh, and maybe as high as 1500 horsepower. Car has four motors, uh, one on each wheel. So you obviously divide uh, 1500 by four and you're looking at seven, no, yep, 750 on each axle, which is 325 at each wheel. Uh, I'm guessing that 0 to 60 on this will be under 2.5 seconds. And yeah, you just knock on the door and it goes down motorized. This one unfortunately won't do the dancing because uh, this is a prototype model. Uh, so it's not a, f a fully finalized model of the car yet. So, you know, anybody who's seen one in the flash has maybe, you know, had the issue with build quality. Uh, it's not a final model yet. So yeah, it's going to be crazy fast. Uh, personally, it wouldn't be the car for myself. Uh, simply because you would sell it for probably one second, maybe two seconds, you could be going to jail. Uh, so I think to drive on a, on a road, apart from the German Autobahn, I think I just think it'd be quite a boring car, if, if I'm bl brutally honest. Uh, half the enjoyment of a car is having your foot pinned on the accelerator and enjoying acceleration for a duration of time. And this is just going to... Obviously, you're going to feel like you're strapped to a, a missile or you're in the Millennium Falcon or the Starship Enterprise hitting the warp drive. Uh, but with electric cars, I find from a factor of fun, that wears off really fast, uh, really quick. Simply, uh, because yeah, you can't really enjoy them on public roads because you know, this thing will accelerate probably naught to 100. I imagine in about four seconds, I imagine the acceleration 60 to 100 is probably like two to three seconds. And obviously it will keep on accelerating, I, I suspect all the way up to like 200 miles an hour. I'm just going to try to open the doors. I believe if you push a button somewhere, the door should open. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, I think I have to give it a helping hand. Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh, maybe. No, I can't do it the same as the gen. Oh, there you go. You knock on it, it shuts itself. If you press the button... Okay, you press the button. It, it does open. I actually don't want to grab it and open it. And you press it again, it closes it. Or you can just knock on the door. That closes it. We'll see if this side wants to play ball maybe a bit more. Right, it's, it's opened. Now it's like, do I just grab? Ah, yes. There you go. It just needs a helping hand. Like I say, this is a prototype. Yeah, so here's the interior. And obviously our message says, please don't adjust the seats. It doesn't say don't sit. So I'm gonna go and sit. If I get towed off, you can all laugh at me on the video. You can see here it's got uh, an impressive, like obviously being an electric car, it's picking up all the people that are walking around it on its uh, display. And obviously that would be a car. So it's got a, uh, like a camera for the rear mirror because obviously if I just give you a view out the back now there's no view out the back because uh, obviously there's no back window you have got paddles I don't know what they do because uh, obviously normally electric cars don't have gears hopefully this to add some more involvement in the drive maybe has uh, simulated gears again I know I've done zero research on this car so I, I literally know nothing about the U9, uh, apart from it's got big horsepower. So I'm assuming that maybe it simulates gears because you have got uh, paddles on there. That means, I don't know what they say. I don't think they say plus or minus. And maybe they do something else. Maybe somebody who knows, it looks like there's a go faster button there. Then you've got your centre inf infotainment screen here. I say this is a prototype car. It has been uh, flown over from China and it is just like a demo car. So, of course, everything's in Chinese on here, but, you know, if I click on these functions here, it all, it's extremely responsive. You know, there's, the, the, there is no delay at all in that. The actual, I mean, I don't know what this does. I don't want to go pressing too many buttons in case something crazy happens. 
uh, but I suspect it probably is locked down. I don't think it will drive anywhere. Oh, wow. So you've got the nice infotainment touchscreen here. You've got the uh, updated display there. You've got the steering wheel. There's a flash of what looks like carbon fiber on the interior. The materials feel quite good. Uh, it looks like the doors have soft clothes like a McLaren. Oh, it's picked up that my foot isn't inside the car, I think. And so the door doesn't chop my leg off. So uh, health and safety there, from, which is pretty good. Uh, so I'm now gonna show you the door closing. You literally uh, just uh, double tap it. And it will uh, shut the door. There you go. And you'll see obviously the reason you can't see out the back and why it needs a uh, camera is because there's no rear screen. Uh, and you can also open it as well by double tapping. This is gentleman's just uh, oh, yeah, lazy door. And there you go, so give the car a fist bump and it opens the doors for you. Carbon ceramic brakes, really uh, big brakes on there as well. So it's definitely gonna stop very well. Anybody tailgating one would be very unwise because they will end up rear ending it if this puts on the brakes. But this is gonna stop extremely fast. Uh, don't know the weight, obviously it's an EV. I imagine it's uh, in the ton, ton, two ton region. Shall we see if we can open this door by doing the double tap? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we are, all the way by itself. I'll give you a quick... That's the cockpit. So all the materials are actually quite nice. This is a really nice, like, suede and like a... Don't know what colour this is, guys. Maybe it could be described as purple or like... Don't know. Let me know your thoughts. But yeah, really nice. Quality feels good. Yeah. Roof is, yep, carbon fibre roof, carbon fibre there. You've got carbon fibre here, carbon here, carbon there as well. There you are, double tap and the door is closing. So yeah, that's the U9, uh, up to 1500 horsepower potentially. It's going to be mentally quick, probably be very boring to drive on a public road because you can't use the performance really of the car. Not unless you, but there again, I suppose you could, oh, the police wouldn't catch you, I guess, you know. If the police see you speeding, they're not gonna be catching you, they'll have to deploy a helicopter. And probably maybe even a helicopter wouldn't keep up with this thing if you could get it on a, a big enough stretch of road. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I would enjoy it. Even if, even if this car was, I think the price is about 185,000 pounds sterling is where it's gonna be, 200,000. I don't think this will come to the UK market. Uh, I just don't think it would ever pass, you know, may not even make it to Europe. It, it may just be a Chinese American market vehicle. Uh, it would be nice to see it on UK roads, but I don't think it'd be fun to drive. Uh, just, just performance that can't be used on a public road. Uh, and whether it be any good on a racetrack is unknown because you don't know how fast you're going to deplete the battery or the batteries are going to overheat. Again, it's all new technology, it's all new for BYD. Early days yet, uh, but yeah, the build quality, it seems, you know, I own a McLaren, so build quality of this is as good if not better. And this is a prototype, so I don't foresee any issues with build quality. I don't know what their electric motors and their batteries are like. Uh, hopefully this time we are a go. Expecting the wheels to turn opposite of each other. Ah. And that was it, guys. Ah, I'm sure it's gonna. Uh, there's more to come. Here we go. Uh, maybe it'd be quicker to do the 3.10 at the end of the road.
But yeah, there you go. You don't need to do a 3.10 anymore. Just press a button and the car will turn on the spot. And you can see the wheels are rotating forwards on the left hand side. And obviously the wheels on the right hand side should be rotating backwards. Yes they are. Uh, so let's go to the U9 wells we're here as well. This is the uh, really crazy, big, heavy, uh, like, I guess, Range Rover equivalent. I think it weighs about three and a half tons. I don't have any idea what the horsepower is. I wouldn't be surprised if it's at least 600 or maybe a thousand plus. This car can also, uh, do, well, the U9 can as well. It can spin on the spot. So it's kind of like totally useless features. Uh, I guess that's the thing with an EV. You know, with an ice car, you have a beautiful engine, you have a beautiful soundtrack, uh, you know, you can rev it, you've got the sound, you know, that's the party piece. AVs don't have that, so they're obviously trying to introduce new party pieces to the, uh, you know, for when these things are at shows. So the U9 can dance, and the way it dances is that you open the app on your phone, and once the app is open, the car will mimic the, of how you move your phone around. So the... Uh, so basically the gyroscope on your car, the car suspension will mimic that moving around so you can make, obviously the dampers are all independent so the car can adjust its ride height at each axle and corner uh, amongst the stiffness as well. So obviously the U9, if, if the guys really code it well, they'll be able to make it so dependent. They could even do it like a really advanced superbike. Uh, so you could actually pre-input the track that you're driving on and the car will then load a suspension profile up for that track and we'll be adjusting ride heights and stiffnesses of each uh, corner of the suspension uh, based on your corner that you're on at the time of the track because so it will be linked by GPS. So we'll just do the door opening thing once more. I think it's, try to, there we are. Double knock, there we are. That door's uh, getting used to that now. So there we are and there we are doing the McLaren trick or Lamborghini Aventador trick. Both doors open. Though I don't think they both look like the... I don't know, maybe the angle's a bit off. But yeah, I hope that's the U9 fully covered. So basically, BYD's uh, supercar, hypercar competitor. Like I say, 1,300, 1,500 horsepower. We'll just loop round once more to the interior. Now there's not people sat in it. So yeah. See, it's, very, it's a very comfy car. I'm sure it actually rides very comfy as well, having all that fully independent uh, suspension flexibility. You've got things like your tyre pressures as well. They're being displayed, I'm sure. As with all these kind of cars, you can flip between different modes. Uh, it would be interesting, though, if anybody knows, watch the video, what do the paddles do? Is this a simulated gear change, or is it, or is it performing something else? So, yeah, now we're up to the... U8, I'd say it's that bigger four before. I say this can do spins on the spot. Uh, I get it's probably quite powerful again. Feel free to comment what the specs of this car is, are, guys. Uh, being an EV, I'm sure it's got big horsepower. I'm not sure as well. You could maybe get a range extended version, which is EV and also has an ice motor in to give it the range. Uh, I think that's also a potential feature with this car that you can have EV plus uh, an ice option, so you're not worried about range. Because obviously a three and a half ton car is not gonna have very good range, whether it's on an ice mower or an EV battery, just something that's too heavy. And here's the BYD seal. Uh, this car has actually really impressed me uh, because obviously most people buy a Tesla Model 3 and having driven a Tesla Model 3, I've been finding this car is in particularly a great, uh, just to, let me see if it's open actually, instead of uh, telling you what the interior is like, Yep. So yeah, again, you, you push the button, the door handle pops out. So the interior on the BYD is just in a different league to a Tesla, as in it's far superior to a Tesla Model 3. I, I think Tesla Model 3s are absolutely terrible on the interiors. I think the quality is really bad on them. 
So this feels more like a car. Uh, and this screen here, you can either have it in landscape or you can rotate it to portrait. You've also got your traditional gear selector lever down there. You've also then got an other typical display for your speed and stuff. And it's got all, all the kind of typical things you would find in a normal car. Seats are nice. You've got wireless charging here, wireless charging there. You've got a full uh, panoramic roof. This car on the road is about 45,000 pounds. Uh, so again, it's about the same. And 45,000 pounds just get you the dual motor version. Uh, I think the dual motor version one of these is about 500 horsepower. Not quite as quick as a Model 3 performance. But again, who needs the performance of a Model 3 performance on the road for typical commuting? I think this car is still around four seconds to 60 mile an hour, maybe high threes or very low fours. Uh, I think it just has over 300 mile range. It uses blade batteries, I believe, which is a Chinese made battery. So obviously the jury is still out on the quality of those batteries uh, in regard to the safety of them and the longevity. Uh, but as a car, I think it looks better than a Model 3. Uh, the interior is vastly superior much nicer place to sit comfier better materials more more features it's also a better looking car from the outside i think anybody can agree with that so yeah this is uh the new byd uh, dealership and crew we'll just do a very quick walk through the showroom go through the models oh we've got again here's another seal in a more interesting color the other one I think I think that this one you can put a five thousand pound deposit down and it's about four nine nine a month so really aggressive deals on them and then I think you've got the I think it's called the dolphin which is a oh there's a dolphin as well I don't know what the exact deals are here but I have seen these as low as I think three grand deposit and two nine nine a month this one's 845, so maybe this is an even better deal. But again, that's the seal. And make really, really cheap. Obviously, the interior quality on the sit on the dolphin, sorry. I mean it's nice. And it's still got obviously, but the, the interior materials are not as good as the ones in the seal that I've just shown you. But this car's obviously nearly half price. I think this is about 26,000. It's less than 30,000 on the road. It's five door, you've got back seats, plenty of leg room. And that. Wow. Obviously you'll have to excuse all of the people here and obviously the children. It is a big open event that they've done. This is a new dealership, like I said, so they're having an open day. So yeah, I'm just going to end the video. We're doing one more uh, brief of the U8. I mean, what would you call it? I mean, it's, it's definitely an SUV, U8 SUV or, you know, 4x4, off-roader. So I, I don't actually foresee a three and a half ton car doing very well off-road and mud. I think if you try to drive a three and a half ton car on mud, it's gonna sink or just stop or just continuously slide. So yeah, can we now do the trick? Or, uh, there we are. That's that door closing. Now we'll, we'll shut this door down. Hopefully no child runs in it and gets the decapitated as the door's closing. But yeah. Uh, I say, uh, if people could please uh, comment, uh, put in the full specs of these cars in the uh, comment section, that would be greatly appreciated. And of course, but would also be appreciated as a like and if you could please subscribe to the channel guys it's it's really appreciated uh, I'm trying to grow the channel to bring you more content like this you know i'm fortunate that i get to see lots of uh, new cars and though this wouldn't be my choice of car i do think it's really interesting you know i wouldn't personally buy one but i think it's cool i like i like you know i'm not against you uh, evs it's just not not for me because i'm not all about performance i'm about what's enjoyable to drive on the road without within uk speed limits or only slightly beyond them in a car like this you're going to be you'll be way beyond the speed limit if you want to enjoy it and i mean like probably triple the speed limit so yeah 
as always thanks for watching guys over and out